Hello, I'm Sean Sands, and this is Kerbal Space Program, and we have gotten to Jewel. Um, I know you're thinking, well, gee, I would have liked to have watched a whole long series of the engine going that took us to Jewel. Uh, no, you wouldn't. You're wrong. You think you would, but you wouldn't. You know why? Because it was 17 minutes of burning out of Kerbin to get to Jewel with this tiny, dumb little thing. This, this, it's not dumb. It's, it's very efficient. The Wolfhound doesn't have a lot of thrust, and um, what I really need to do is just learn how engine plates work better, so I can put more of them on. Uh, but no, we. It was honestly. Uh, I think I had to do two, maybe three, uh, different stages of the burn. Um, primarily because we were just sort of set up where the parry. I like. I could have adjusted the orbit more. Uh, but when I got a good, um, a good. Uh, trajectory to get to jewel it was so close to our parry apps and we sort of had to burn toward the planet a bit um and it was 17 minutes to burn um that we couldn't uh do it it didn't work um it did work eventually i just had to stage the uh burn so that you know i didn't go back into the atmosphere uh which is fine it worked fine um oh yeah jewel there it is uh so we made it here it takes a lot of Delta V, you guys, to get here and then get in orbit. And even our orbit is uh, is fine. Uh, big test here coming up. Do we have transmission? Maybe not. Oh, well, that's okay. We still got our guys. And we're not planning any kind of communication. Uh, I think so. Well, and, and Kerbin is on uh, the very far side of uh, things. So that's all right. I mean... We probably needed to do a radar, or not a radar, but a relay station, uh, and I just did. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. It was it was so fiddly and just. I don't know. It felt like busy work. Uh, so we got a couple of things. Um, first of all, I'm orbiting the wrong way. Not much I can do about that because our orbital speed is five thousand seven hundred eighty-one meters per second. I have no idea how we're gonna get home. This may be, they may be a tour of Jewel and then they just live at Jewel. This may be a permanent man station around Jewel. I'm not sure. Um, I'm just happy because I've never been to Jewel before, so this is exciting for me. Uh, we can't communicate back home, so uh, but we can do a bunch of science. So we're gonna. The plan is. <laughs> We're going to do a little bit of a tour. I'd like to do a flyby of a lathe. I have a flyby of, I want to say, uh, uh, Val set up. Yeah, Val. Um, and just kind of look at them. Again, I did check to see how much it would take to get a uh, orbit of Val. Um, can't click on anything. Okay, you can click on lathe. Why can't I click on Val? Come back, Val. Anyway, just take my word for it. Uh, we we kind of checked, and to do a orbit of um, that is going to require uh, 3,679 uh, delta V. Uh, and that would be everything, basically. That's, that's the whole tank. Uh, what I may try and do instead is just see. I don't even know. Maybe it wouldn't be as much to get pole. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, just I just don't know. So maybe we'll try and set up a uh, a pole uh, intercept uh, and see if see what that would entail if we could do a different thing. I'd like to dip briefly, ever so briefly, into Jules' atmosphere and get an atmospheric sample. Um, I just got to be real conscious of how much delta V we have left. I mean, we have almost five thousand, so we should be able to do a number of things and mostly figure out a way back home. Uh, it may be a rescue mission at some point. I don't know. It's fine. Um, the main point is this is sort of our, our, our finale here that we're setting up this, this series of a little bit of a tour of the Jewel system, uh, which is the thing I've never done. So I, every time I, I play Kerbal Space Program, I like to try and accomplish something I haven't accomplished before. Uh, but first up, we can do, I think, some high orbit science, right? Uh, so let's open up our service bay. Oh, not that one. This one. Uh, I don't know that we'll be landing anywhere. Uh, let's just bring our scientist out because that's hard to see. So, Bob, hop on out. First of all, wait, no, actually get back on board. Let's do a crew report. And he can take that with him. We are high above Jewel, uh, and we get 30 science for that. Very nice. 
Now, Bob, do an EVA. Uh, go ahead and take that data. You do an EVA report, another 48 science. You can let go and we will go do some science with Bob. Welcome to our new series, Science with Bob. I still made the same, mis not mistake, but um, where I have these so close to the engine is kind of tricky to get into, but Bob's a pro. Look at Bob go. Nice, nice bobbing, Bob. Uh, science Junior, that's 150 science. We'll collect that data and restore. Um, swing Bob through here and do the mystery go. Grab that, collect data, restore. We can take a temperature sample. I mean, like. Space appears quite impossible everywhere. It's always the same. Uh, I'd love it if there was some place in space where you could take, it and it's like, no, weirdly, there is a temperature here. It's, we're terrified. We have to rethink our entire um, belief structure. Physics, rewritten as we know it. We will take that data. Don't get stuck, Bob, here. Let's come uh, swing around this way. Back gently out, carefully, carefully. There you go. Uh, go ahead and store what you got. Store those experiments, excellent. Clip through the landing gear, very, very crafty of you, Bob. You've got a incorporeal sort of sense about you. Uh, we did this, right? We did the pressure data. Graviolis. Mm, gravioli sounds like a delicious dish you'd get at the Olive Garden. I would eat gravioli all day at the Olive Garden. Um, I don't know what. Seismic data is going to be nothing. Uh, and we can store that last bit of science. Oh, that's an engine. And we'll store experiments. Some nice, nice sciencing, Bob. You did a hell of a job. Good job. Now get back in there. All right. And now we can go to uh, Lathe? No, not Lathe. Um, Val. Val is where we're going next. So let's go ahead and warp to Val. <laughs> and we're going to basically do the same thing again. We're going to hop out. I, we're not going to try and land at Val. It's... I'd love to, but again, I don't want to. Yeah, I, I don't want to burn up the all of our, all of our energy. I mean, we could just plan to, you know, launch a, uh, a rescue mission, but I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Seriously, three thousand six hundred meters per second of delta v. Anyway, I'd rather try and maybe get out to one of the outer uh, moons because I my suspicion. What I hope is true um, is that because at our Apo apps we'll be going much slower, that maybe we wouldn't have to burn quite so hard to do a, a landing on somewhere like Pole. Um, our Prairie apps is 45,000 uh, meters, so let's get close to there. Let's actually see. There it is. There's Val. And we're a minute out from our Prairie apps. Uh, so let's do a crew report above Val. Excellent. And let's go through the whole system again. Bob, hop on out. Bob gets to do all the fun stuff. See? Being a scientist is fun. Um, take that data. Let go. And we will uh, go do more science. Here above Val. No, don't overwrite. <coughs> <coughs> okay, you kind of crashed into the uh, Science Junior there. Oh, excuse me. Apparently I've forgotten how to swallow correctly. So that's great. 
Remove and restore. Excellent. Observe the mystery goo. Remove and restore. Turn on your lights. Get that pressure data. Instruments are zero everywhere, but never, never give up trying. Logs of gravity data. Keep that. Take the data. Uh, get that temperature scan. Come on. Show me that. There it is. Nope. Nope. Bob, you're in the way. There it is. Camera's pretty great. Take that data. And let's go. Oh, nope. Nope. Bob. There you go. Get at there. Store those experiments. Excellent. There you go. I knew you could do it, Bob. I'm bored. As we come around the dark side of it's not a gorgeous view of Val. Uh, so next up, I want to try and just sample. We're going to do a quick save. Get out to our Apple apps. I'd like to sample Jules Atmosphere, which I believe is at about... Um, go to Val Escape. No, we're not doing the maneuver. Get the maneuver out of here. So about here. How much delta V would it for us just just kiss Jules' atmosphere? We want to get to 198 at the most, like just not a lot. We don't don't want to burn our ship up. <clears throat> See, it's like hundreds of delta V. Just do this tiny little maneuver. Okay, that would be bad. We don't want to go that far. I'm thinking like 197 or so. There we go. Ultimately, all we want to do is just activate our atmospheric. Yeah, right here. We're going to run the atmospheric analysis. And how fast are we going when we hit apoaps? Uh, warp to next maneuver. <clears throat> I mean, we could use this to slow our um, our orbit way down, but you know, I just we're still going 1,500 meters per second at our Apo apps. That's crazy. I mean, just I mean, we also have this just big bulky thing. Oh, I'm trying to do it without using RCS too. Our monopropellant's pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead and burn that. See, I mean, just 300 meters per second of delta V is a minute of a burn. It's just not a super powerful engine. The nice thing is that there's still just, like, we had enough in this engine to completely do the burn to Joule. It, no, after after equal circularizing the orbit, burn to Joule, burn for our orbit of Joule, and now even here still have a thousand in the tank. So I mean, it's great from that perspective as far as just being, um, you know, a, a efficiency machine. Like no question, the Wolfhound is the way to go. But if if you're in a hurry to, I mean, it's like the Ion engine, right? I, there's a reason I haven't even tried that thing because I just think it would be. Um, so, yeah, I just, I can't, I can't have half hour burns. Like, I just, I can't. That's not where, I'm, that's not my play style at all. Um. <clears throat> I like to get around space very fast. High energy. <laughs> no. All right. 
300,000, 200,000, and cut. Oh, that's probably more than we want. Let's do a quick save. Maybe we can survive that. Uh, we're going to turn retrograde. And we are going to go here. Falling toward the planet. It seems like everything we're doing is on the night side of stuff, so that's not ideal. Whew, we're moving fast. I wouldn't be surprised if we actually burn up here. I bet we have to reload. Like, <laughs> like a couple of hydrogen atoms moving at this speed ought to just tear through our ship. <laughs> Uh, that is very fast. Now up to almost 10,000 meters per second relative to the surface of Joule. Uh, but our orbit is only 9,000, so that's great. Uh, we are going to want to bring our solar panels in on the off chance that we don't burn up in the very, very outer edge of the atmosphere. <clears throat> Oh, look at that. Look at the, just like the purple. That is so cool. Oh, that is worth it. Jeb's having a great time. Bill's having a great time. Nobody's checking the, uh, checking their, uh, their sensors because they're about to hit, oh, just a monster of an amid. Oh, and then it transitions to the green. Ah, love it. I love, I'm sorry. I'm too excited. How Try to keep it. I'll contain my enthusiasm. God, it's just like a brick wall of, of air. And we are in the atmosphere. We can record that. And that's done. Now the question is simply, do we survive? We are already seeing some heating effects, but nothing too bad. We might be all right. Pulling our Apple apps in. Oh, there it is. There's the heat. It's getting very red. Seeing some red over here. Still haven't quite got to our periaps. Slowing us down, which is nice, I guess. And we have reached periaps. Excellent. Haven't blown up yet. Boy, I think any deeper into the atmosphere, we would have just evaporated. Coming back out, heating effects reducing. All right, so let's think about, I mean, when we get out to our Apple apps, obviously we're gonna need to bump that out of the atmosphere. Um, what if we set we are on the wrong sort of trajectory to kind of interact with pole at all, aren't we? What if we set it as target? So our ascending node is here. We're at 173 degrees off. Oh, because we're orbiting the wrong way. Oh, this is all bad. This is all very bad. Because um, you'd have to flip it. You'd literally have to flip it. It's going this way and we're going this way. I mean, that's, that's the problem with everything, right? That's why we can't land on any of the, any of the moons. Out of curiosity. Just how much delta V would we need to get out near it? I'm assuming this is basically impossible. Well, we're on the wrong side, too. Well, what do we have here? We have a uh, an intercept with something else. Huh. Kind of like that. I'm, I'm willing to take whatever I can get, to be honest with you.
700 Delta V to get an intercept with uh, Tylo. Hey, Tylo. Um, sure, why not? And get us within 275,000. Can I get us closer? Yeah, of course I can get us closer. I'm clearly a professional. And then that uh, would really correct our jewel peri apps. We wouldn't have to worry about that anymore. 19,000. I like that. All right, we'll do this. We'll spend another 730.83. We'll basically use up this stage. Make our way to Tylo. And we're going to have a kind of an eccentric orbit around Jewel. That's all right. Uh, let's see, three hours. It's so pretty. I love. I love the little effects so much, the little things so much, and I kind of would love to find a way to, to visit Lave as well. Um, <clears throat> two hours out from our node. It seems so ridiculous to have brought a lander and not use it. Oh, yeah. One hour, 30 minutes. It's a two minute burn. So we'll start burning around now. Now it's good. So we hit our Apo apps here, start falling back in, get captured by Tylo, get swung back out. Which is <laughs> bouncing all over the place. And terrible. Our terrible, terrible orbit. So, so far we've visited Jewel, sort of. I mean, technically in the atmosphere. Can't do any better than that with Jewel, because, I mean, Jewel's a gas giant. Uh, we swung past Val. Now we're going by Tylo. I'd like to hit Lathe, too. But credit to those of you who said, nope, you're not going to get, you're not going to be in communication with Kerbin. Uh, you were right. I was wrong. And that's fine because we'll figure it out. Going to need a lot of Delta B to get home. This may be the last burn to see if we can even get home. What's that? What do we got there? That's another Val encounter. Um... <laughs> Well, technically, is a Val crash, it looks like. No, it's not. It's just a Val encounter. Um, we already did Val. I know that none of this is kind of ideal. Like, this isn't how you would do it if you want to do it really well. But I'm having a blast. This makes me very happy. Visiting new places in this game I've never visited before. And I've still got a lot of stuff left. The real trick of it is, like, the speeds that you have to get up to to get to these outer planets really make it hard to do. Like, you're just, you're a bullet at that point. What is this? Oh, it's a lathe encounter. Oh, do I want that instead? I did want to go to lathe. It's not a close lathe encounter. Not unless this ends up getting much, much closer. It's getting much, much closer. Does lathe have an atmosphere? Yeah, we may be doing Lathe instead. <clears throat> I 
All right, now I got to see if Lave has an atmosphere. I think it does. Yeah, it does. It starts around 50K. So let's do an atmosphere analysis of Lave. Three days out, that'll leave us with a nice big jewel periaps, right? I think we're killing this maneuver. All right, let's look at lathe. Coming in the wonky side of it. Oh, isn't that interesting? What a fun, what a fun moon. Um, cool. So we need to get out and have Bob pull the atmosphere data. Um, where do? Where is that? Atmosphere data thing. There it is. Okay. Download the data. Very good. Turn on your lights. Very good. And store the data. Close enough. Come back out. Swing down. Grab and board. Excellent. That's our lay of escape. Just out of here, uh, just because I'm curious how much delta V it would take to orbit lathe. Just 4,600. Now I know. Uh, we're three days out. And we want to be retrograde. And we're coming in on... Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, excellent. Let's go ahead and do a crew report. Uh, I think we're going to, we'll run the science here and we'll collect it when we get back out. Store. The big question is, I mean, because we got to get these guys home so that we can get all this sweet science. Uh, log pressure. Yeah, what I want to look at is the strut. Thank you. Oh, Camry is so bad. Gravioli. Where is the goo container? There it is. Observe the mystery goo. Keep that. No way I'm getting the... The... Um, thermometer yeah no oh geez oh that's super hot we blew up our antenna okay well we're gonna have to reload <laughs> well that went well oh <laughs> uh, no i think i have to reload away ways back i don't know that i saved when did i last save please tell me it was Oh, it was for the Jewel Apple apps. <laughs> all right. Ah, well, I'm going to do all that again. Uh, I won't make you stick around for it. Oh. <laughs> uh, go ahead and grab that. 
so what did I do? Uh, I had to, uh, all, so all we missed was I was going to go to Tylo and instead I went to um, uh, my untimely demise. Wait, 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 wait. No, I did, I did dumb thing there. So I'd already done the burn, right? What's this burn for? Dual periaps is fine, thank you. I don't need to burn anymore. Um, <laughs> okay, well, assume that I did not explode in the atmosphere of lathe and that uh, I conducted that, that, that analysis correctly. Boy, if you knew that was coming, if you were just sitting there waiting for it, that must have been such a treat. Oh, you're way too deep in Lay's atmosphere. You will definitely blow up. That thing's a soup. Um, and, the, and you would have been correct. Anyway, so when we come back, I think uh, I think we'll try and figure out if we can make it home. So I will, I will complete the sort of analysis here. It, I don't see us landing on any of these, uh, these moons. Um, Orbiting the wrong way, orbiting way too fast. It's all bad. Uh, it's just not. It's not going to happen. It's. It's not going to happen. Um, but I will. I will gather the science around Lathe. That'll have taken us to Val and Lathe, and may still try and do something past Tylo. Um, and then we're going to figure out how to go home and see if we can get all this sweet science back. And I think that'll do it. Yeah. Either way, I'm I'm having I'm having a blast. This is this is this to me is a fun way to kind of finish up the series and um and, and kind of and and put per, put put Kerbal Space Program um into a into a place where I'm definitely going to want to come back uh in the next major update or just when when the spirit moves me as they say. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. One, maybe two more. We'll see. Uh, really depends. If I can't make it back to Kerbin, I don't know, you know, I don't know. We'll have to tackle that as we come to it and figure out uh, what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, until next time, as always, my name is Sean Sands. Thank you for joining me for Kerbal Space Program. We will see you again real soon. <laughs>